and it is face mask Friday. I know I don't have a face mask on, but it's so fucking hot outside that I just kept melting the bitch off. So I said I gotta get my video out there, so I'm gonna do it. So, first thing I'm gonna talk about is Chris Brown and Soulja Boy. Why the fuck are y'all still doing shit like this? What is the whole point of rapper beef or singer rapper beef this is what like first of all fuck both of them okay soldier boy got jacked because he was trying to look cool in the hood and then you got chris brown out here being his natural disrespectful to women chris brown self like was it really necessary for him to say all those mean and nasty things about karachi or karachi karachi on instagram no it wasn't but yet his fans want to act like he don't do shit y'all like so blind to the fucked upness that is chris brown he like hates women and he's raising a daughter this shit is crazy another thing that i find so fucking messy about it that i will give to chris brown i hope he take his baby mama back to court and i hope he cleans her fucking clock at court because who the fuck puts their kid around the person that their baby daddy hate like that's so fucking corny to me you cannot have a great relationship with your baby daddy but don't start putting your child into the shit that's just fucking messy like you too grown for that shit like yeah him and soldier boy way too grown to be doing this shit on instagram and twitter and the soldier boy and these bitch ass apologies and all this extra shit like I feel like Soulja Boy purposely like to pick fights with people because his ass isn't as relevant as he used to be and no one is truly giving a fuck about Soulja Boy. So he has to go on the internet, show his ass, and piss off people so he can get into the little limelight. And then Chris Brown always has to have these moments where he goes on these big ass rants against women and other artists. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. Why can't y'all all just make music and shut the fuck up? But then again, I can't say anything, because what would I have to talk about if you famous rich motherfuckers didn't act like simpletons on the internet? Ugh. Shit is crazy, y'all. Next thing, Tillicum the Whale died. If you don't know who Tillicum the Whale is, he was a focal whale of a movie called Blackfish. It's on Netflix. It came out, I think, two years ago, two or three years ago. It's such a great movie. SeaWorld basically ruined this well's life by constantly having him in captivity like i'm really sad about it like in the movie blackfish they tell you how the trainers would jack him off to create other whales like it's real fucked up but he has since passed and it's just that's fucking depressing. Like, why can't y'all just let them be in the wild? We don't need sea world. We don't need that shit. Like, let them be out in the wild where they fucking belong and not in a tank where they're constantly swimming around in a fucking circle. Ugh. And shit is so obnoxious and disgusting. Another thing I'm excited about that I'm going to mention real briefly is the show Emerald City that's coming on after Grimm tonight. I'm so, so fucking excited for Emerald City. I'm already loving the costume and the set design. I'm already loving the casting. It looks like it's going to be a really great show. I think they said it's like a six or eight part TV event. But it already looks good. I watched some behind the scenes thing the other day when it was talking about the three witches. Um, Glinda the Good, the Wicked Witch of the West, who she's not green in Emerald City. And then this other witch, I think she was like the Witch of the North, some shit. But um, I'm really, really excited for that. And yeah, I think that's everything. I want to talk about Chris Brown and Soldier Boy. I wanted to talk about Tillicum the Whale. And because I used to have like a whale stuffed animal that's why i had to talk about it because it makes me really upset and i want to talk about the show emerald city that i think everyone should check out i hope okay you guys have an amazing friday and an amazing weekend and live it up i'm loving that there seems to be more of you commenting constantly every week like that makes me really excited so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will see you guys on stoner story time sunday and like i say at the end of every video if no one's told you that you're awesome and that they love you i think you're awesome and i love you <gasps> peace